So as y'all know, the live stream happened earlier today and they showcased a little bit of Robin's ability. And I just wanted to break, break it down and go through it with you guys. So here we go. Let's take a look at Miss Robin's battle credentials. About time. Well, I'm a physical type character following the path of harmony. My technique allows me to create a dimension around myself. Any enemies within this dimension follow me without attacking. After entering battle against enemies in I mean that that's not really gonna be anything special. It's just that they follow her while well, without attacking. Hey, would it work on the charters as well? I hope so, because that'd be funny if you have her that can control the charters and topaz control them as well. And I wonder also, like that skill with Acheron skill could actually be pretty good because you get all the characters, like all the enemies in the area, round them up. And this use Akron and Popper E, it was instantly killed them. That'd be so great. But let's get into this part of what she's about to say now. In the dimension, I can also regenerate additional energy. Even enemies are captivated by Miss. AKA when she attacks, she get energy obviously, cause you know that's how it works. But when her teammates attack, they get energy as well. And yes, it do counts for follow-up attacks also. It's Robin's star status. <laughs> My four days working. At least I'm pretty sure it would count to that because it should. I mean, she say attacks. You don't really specify if it's going to do follow up or not follow up, but she states attack. So I'm guessing that it works with the attack as well. And some parts of her kit is kind of like, I'm going to say it may change everything. And that's why I wanted to go through this with you guys. Being in sync with my team, offering support and buffs to everyone. Pick my skill, for example which enhances the total damage inflicted by her team or my time so aka she, she boosts the damage that you do now, that's already good in itself but it, it does more talent, which allows me to regenerate additional energy whenever my allies attack enemies and see they say attack enemies but then they don't show a follow-up attack when she's in a follow-up attack team what i'm guessing actually i'm gonna get my thoughts on the end of what kind of harmony robin is and what she is going to be used for and i'm gonna say i'm gonna explain why her and the venturine came out in the first place but we'll get to that at the end of the video as a cosmic songstress miss robin also integrates her songs into combat when using her ultimate miss robin belts out a morale boosting number and enters a performative state this state allows all allies to immediately take action while also providing buffs. <laughs> and that is big in itself right there. As you heard, her art literally immediately, first of all, they, they it's basically a Bronya E and an R. It could actually be both to be honest because she also give buffs, but they don't say what kind of like they say attack buffs, but they don't say what kind of buffs like they don't specify. Out a morale sure. boosting number and enters a performative state. This state allows all allies to immediately take action while also providing buffs. Yeah, see, I don't state what buffs in quotations that they're talking about. They just say buffs. But for it to first apply buff in the first place is already good in itself. And then to immediately take action again, like that, that's so, to me, it sounds broken because that means that they can, they get a free turn. They literally just get a free turn. And I do wonder if building for her all, cause I know, you know, like I'm guessing guys, I'm guessing right. That her all is a big, like it takes a lot of energy to get. So I wonder if somewhere in like one of her idolons that it just makes it easier to get her all. I, I wouldn't put it past them if they did something like that, but, but let's continue. But everyone immediately takes action again. Miss Robin is full of surprises. And how about that song? Now that's a tune I can fight to. <laughs> what can I say? I love lifting spirits. When my ultimate is in play, I inflict additional damage on the enemy after each ally attack. And that is another thing that I think is good. Like she inflicts additional damage after the damage, which basically means she's like, but basically when you attack, she attacks as well. And then when you attack, she gets energy as well. So it's like, she, she just an all around helper of the team. So basically, let's say that you smack the character and she smacks, she gonna does, she does whatever the damage is as well. We're not sure how it actually calculates yet because that part of the kit didn't come out. We probably still got about two weeks for that. Well, yeah, about two weeks because then that's when they dropped the whole kit, like about like a day or two, maybe four before the character comes out. So we still waiting on that. Plus, I'm immune 
time to crowd control debuffs. There's the crowd control debuff is just a plus at this point. I'm gonna be honest. And that's basically huge because basically the trace for Fru Swan basically becomes her passive and gen indefinitely instead of it being one that you can just block she just block all crowd all crowd controllers which means afka you don't have to worry about her getting like smacked on that if she gets targeted let's say oh yeah um what's some little things a little wizard girls or whatever that does the clock i don't have to worry about that no more if they try to attack her so i think i think we chilling we chilling at this point with like just blocking these because aventurine helps you block them with the effect raise he gives and it, it's just oh it looks like i don't know if it's gonna be content that's coming out that applies like crowd control or anything and that's why they like building these characters up because that's what it looks like look at they going in a way of that because aventurine has effect raise she literally just blocks them all out right so i wonder if that's what they like aiming towards or something no doubt you fully embody the path of harmony miss robin spreading harmony has always been my mission as a Luvian, I all right so that's basically it they don't talk about anything else she's just talking about her being her which is adorable and then they go into the whatever right so i want to talk to y'all about like i said earlier in the video why aventurine and robin is good for each other and why they came out in the first place now my reason as to why i'm gonna be honest i think i'm i think it's obvious in the beginning in the first place look at the team they use right like if we go back to the team they use is literally topaz dr ratio uh venturine and robin now what do all four of them have in common their follow-up attack units you can say venturine is a shielder all you want he is a shielder yes but he's a follow-up attack shielder his best team is with topaz and dr ratio and you know what they've been missing us actual support they get the let's see Let's see dr ratio is the attacker you have your buffer which is topaz because topaz buffs all follow-up attacks right let's say shielder slash healer protector let's be real right basically protector and that's a venturing and then the last one which is a robin you have her you have your freaking harmony unit now because we all know this game is just harmony star real at this point to be honest like because as you saw what they did well um was it war made they kind of boosted up the dots team now i think they're boosting up the like follow-up attack team and so basically i feel like robin is definitely gonna be good obviously it makes sense that she's gonna be good in that team she's gonna be great in the follow-up attack team in general and i'm definitely gonna be running that team so if you want to check out me running that team just stay tuned and subscribe because i will be running it i will get robin and i will pull for her on the channel and also if you want to see me go against MOC from Wolf of Venturine and see how easy I made his final boss, you can check on this video right here.